How far is Austin from Houston? Oh, about, are you driving the limit or are you driving above the limit? <laughs> about a uh, two and a half hour drive. Yeah. You have speed, sir. Okay. Denzel, you've got three movies coming out this year, and I understand from the trades that for your next film, you're going to be making more money than you can shake a stick at, plus the stick. So, do you feel like you're on a personal roll right now? Well, the, uh, first, the reason I had three films out was because of scheduling. Devil in a Blue Dress was actually the first film I made a year and a half ago. And it was supposed to come out toward the end of last year, but they didn't get it together in time. Then they wanted to release it in the spring. And then Crimson Tide got in, 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 into that slot. Then they, wanted, they didn't really feel it was a summer movie, so then they moved it to the fall. And uh, so I really wasn't planning on having three, three pictures this year, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. But do I feel like, what, what was the question? Uh, do, I, do you feel like you're on a roll? Uh, not, not more than, than any other time, really, because, I mean, I, I'm just, I've always felt like I was doing things that I wanted to do. Uh, you know, I, I, I guess I've been on a roll. After making a movie like this, Denzel, and seeing what technology is already available, do you worry about a possible time when movies will be using computer-generated graphics for actors instead of flesh-and-blood actors? You mean when all pictures are animated? I don't think the, the audience wants only animated pictures. If that was the case, then I, th I don't think that'll ever be the case. Because that, that'll still just be animated. I mean, the, the, the pictures will only be as good as the computer operator. You know, I mean, the question will become, you know, how, how many emotions can you get in a bottle or something? And, you know, it's like what, happened, what has happened in a, to a degree in the, in, the, in the record industry, you know, with sampling music and using, uh, especially like in rap, where they've used a lot of samples from old songs. And the rap hasn't necessarily gotten any better. In fact, it's, it's gone downhill. And their musicianship has gone downhill as well. So I think that... The same thing would happen in, in, uh, uh, in acting as well. I think that the craft and the, and the quality of the films would actually go down because you, it's still an artistic expression. You know? Well, speaking of computer breakthroughs, have you as an individual taken precautions to keep bits and pieces of your past movie performances from use, being used in commercials in the future so we won't see a day when, say, a scene from Glory is used to sell Timex watches or something? That's a question for, for the lawyers <laughs> and agents and stuff. You know, I don't know. There, there are certain laws in place. I couldn't, you know, tell you all that stuff. Well, finally, what was there about this particular role that attracted you? Uh, you know, the, 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 the technology. You know, when I sat down with Brett, when I read the script, I said, well, you know, but how? What are, how are they going to do this? You know, I said, this sounds interesting, but how? And then and when I sat down with Brett and we, he started talking about all the, the technology and explaining to me what nanotechnology is and, and the virtual reality to the level that he wanted to do it on. It was fascinating. I said, I don't think that anybody's done this yet. And if we can do it right, w w if we can get the script right and he can get the technology right, then we'll have something interesting. And I think we were able to do that. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure. Congratulations. All right, thanks. <laughs> no, but you